All right, check-in time. You've got your ePortfolio. You've got your seven random facts written. You've got some pictures with captions. You've got a video. Right under home page, you have a passion post. You maybe even have uh, pictures that you made yourself. Uh, using Adobe Spark would have been great if you know how to do that one. Or maybe you're an artist, you drew pictures, you took a picture of them, and you've got it on here. You're ready to turn this in and give me the link. First thing you need to do is go up here to Publish. And the web address is going to be your name. Test with a dash and one. And then you publish it. I mean, that's it, folks. It's published. You cannot go here, view published site, and if you want other people to see this, this is the link you have to give them up here. Don't ever copy this link up here because this is one that nobody can see but you because it's where you edit it. All right, so don't give that one out. Now here's a cool thing. If you want to change anything, like you type something wrong, you fix it, and you have to republish. And it tells you it's going to show you the differences. Oh, I didn't notice that I changed anything because I kept it the same. I think I need to add something. Let me add a caption to this video. Love this video. All right. Now I've got something new. So now watch. You publish. It shows you what it looks like and what it used to look like. Difference is, I now have Love This Video. If you're sure you like it, you click on Publish. Again, you're done. You click here, go to View Publish Site, and this is the link I want. So click it so it highlights the entire thing. Do Control C to copy, and then go to uh, the form. Put your name, first and last. Oh, get used to putting your first and last name. That's just the way to go. And then I'm going to click Control V, as in Victor, to paste. See, it says copy and paste your site's published link. That's this one, not this long, ugly one. Okay, and then once I'm done, boom, I submit it. See how it says your response has been recorded? That's how you know you did this. So you're going to go back to Classcraft, to the Assignment tab, and click Submit It Correctly, or My Response Has Been Submitted, just so that I know it's done and it's ready for me to look at, so I can check your sites and see all your great work.